Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create this video to talk to you about as well as update you on the status of the next Untethered Jailbreak. <laughs> And for those of you interested in winning a brand new 4th gen Apple TV, just be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for instructions as well as information on when the giveaway is concluding. Now before we get into the content in today's update video, I think we need a PSA. It's long overdue. First and foremost, as indicated by the title, this is an update video. It's not misleading in any way. Next, if you want to be among the first to be notified when a new jailbreak is released for iOS 9.2, be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. I will be issuing my tutorial tutorial immediately following the release of a brand new iOS 9.2 compatible jailbreak utility. Finally, if you guys appreciate Taiji as well as Pangu, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Without them, we wouldn't have jailbreaks today. It's as simple as that. Between the days of iOS 4 to iOS 7, when Pangu came onto the scene and released their first jailbreak for iOS 7.1.x, it wasn't unusual for us to wait anywhere from six to nine plus months for a new jailbreak. And when we look at the first jailbreak for iOS 9 from Pangu, it was released less than a month after the initial release of iOS 9, since 9.0 was out on the 16th of September and the jailbreak was made available on October 14th. And looking back to iOS 9.2 and when this jailbreak was patched, remember 9.2 was released earlier this month on December 8th, and the jailbreak was officially patched by its predecessor iOS 9.1, which was released just over two months ago on October 21st. So any way you slice it, we're still ahead of years past, and we have not one, but two jailbreak development teams working hard and diligently on creating and releasing new jailbreaks. I feel like a lot of people are starting to take that for granted. Remember, jailbreak utilities are not easy to create. Otherwise, we would receive one for every single minor firmware release, but we simply don't because they're so difficult and intricate. So now let's move on specifically to the iOS 9.2 jailbreak. When is it going to be released? It's been about a week and a half since we heard from 3K Assistant, one of Taiji's associates, that the group, being Taiji, is planning to release a new jailbreak for iOS 9. Remember, that news broke on December 20th, right before before Christmas. So what's happened since then and what can we expect? Well, as I mentioned in this update video, which I will have linked for you guys on your screens now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, 3K Assistant not only confirmed but also reblogged the information on their official Weibo account, Weibo being a form of Chinese microblogging. But they took it down shortly thereafter, which they were likely instructed to do by Taiji because remember guys, jailbreak developers do not give ETAs. It's as simple as that. They want to avoid creating toxic attitudes amongst the jailbreak community if for whatever reason they happen to miss that ETA or something like iOS 9.2.1 pushes back the potential release of the jailbreak they're working on, which I'm going to discuss in just a second. But first, I wanted to talk about misinformation as well as scams. Guys, they're running rampant right now and it's starting to get a little insane. Even on Reddit, which is considered the official home of the jailbreak community online, there's so much speculation and incorrect information regarding the next untethered jailbreak spreading across the jailbreak subreddit. Take for instance this fake tweet that started to go viral before the original poster the OP took down the fake imager screenshot they posted. They were trying to say that this was on Taiji's official Twitter account Quote, Taiji Jailbreak Tool version 2 for Windows is almost there. It will support iDevices with iOS 9.1, 9.2, and 9.2.1. We hope to open the tool for download within the next week. For those of you who saw that and are wondering about it, it's completely fake. First of all, it's 163 characters, which is over the Twitter character limit. And while this specific example is just of a harmless prank, there are fake and scam sites that are infinitely more malicious that are starting to pop up, suggesting that there is a new jailbreak for iOS 9.2 and when you go to follow the instructions inside of Safari or on your computer or whatever it may be, you can either A, end up with a virus on your computer if you don't have a Mac or B, you can end up completing surveys or downloading sponsored applications for the creator of the website which will just earn money for them and you'll be in an infinite loop that promises you something that doesn't exist yet. It's important now that we exercise patience. Remember, as I mentioned, jailbreak utilities take forever to create. They take hundreds to pop 
possibly thousands of hours, depending on what's actually required of the jailbreak team and whether they're able to recycle certain exploits. Remember, iOS 9 itself posed an enormous challenge for jailbreakers, considering its, quote, rootless nature. It made jailbreaking that much harder, and we were able to receive a new utility less than a month after the initial release of iOS 9. But that was then, and this is now. So what's happening with Taiji? Why haven't they released their jailbreak? Since we know they did plan on issuing a new utility for iOS 9.2, shouldn't we have seen one by now? Well, that's a good point. Yes, we probably should have. However, considering the release of iOS 9.2.1 beta, that has likely pushed back their plans. Because iOS 9.2.1 is on the horizon, and if Taiji were to release a jailbreak right now, Apple could easily patch the exploits that they utilize with the release of iOS 9.2.1. And though you may say, well, wouldn't they just patch it with something like 9.2.2 if they waited for 9.2.1 before issuing their jailbreak? And while that is certainly true, 9.2.1 is confirmed and it would be more imminent than a potential 9.2.2 firmware if that scenario were to play out. So as of right now, waiting for iOS 9.2.1 is the smart thing to do, at least from a development standpoint. Though it may not be the popular move, it will ensure that as many new jailbreakers will be able to take advantage of the utility as possible, and for as long as possible. Releasing new versions of iOS, just like new jailbreak utilities, has become increasingly more difficult for Apple. After the issues that were caused with the release of 8.0.1, they want to make sure that they put each new firmware through substantial testing before then issuing it to the public. So if Taiji waits for iOS 9.2.1, which with each day that passes, it looks like that's what's happening, then it would take Apple even longer to issue something like 9.2.2 to patch the jailbreak. So if Taiji's waiting on iOS 9.2.1, when can we expect the firmware since today is already Tuesday, December 29th? Considering we didn't see anything released yesterday, Monday the 28th, or today, Tuesday the 29th, it is possible that Apple will take this week off of software release releases just like they did last week to give their employees some time off for the holidays. Remember, the first and the start of the new year, 2016, is on this Friday, so it's not that far away, and unless we see a new form of iOS 9.2.1, whether that's the beta or the final public version, tomorrow the 30th, then it's definitely likely Apple will wait until next week, which will be the week of the 4th to the 8th. And as I mentioned, each day that passes, it's more likely that Taiji will wait for iOS 9.2.1 to drop before a new utility is available. And that about wraps up this video. I'm going to go over the TLDW, or rather Too Long Didn't Watch, in just a second, which will just be the summary for this video. But first, if you're interested in winning a brand new 4th gen Apple TV, just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. It doesn't take long. Once you do, download sponsored apps for points, just so long as you earn some points, then go to the third tab at the bottom and you see that referral link take what appears after the equal symbol and post it in the comment section of my fourth gen apple tv unboxing i will have it linked for you guys right now okay so for the tldw no a new ios 9.2 jailbreak has not been released remember it takes hundreds to thousands of man hours to create new jailbreaks and while 3K Assistant may have confirmed Taiji's plans to release a jailbreak for 9.2, they have since taken down that information, likely by Taiji's orders, which all but confirms the authenticity of it. And now with every hour that passes without a new jailbreak for iOS 9.2, the scenario where Taiji waits for iOS 9.2.1 becomes that much more realistic. And since it's currently the holiday season, Apple may take this week off of software releases, which means we won't receive a new version of 9.2.1 either in beta or final form this week but they'll undoubtedly resume development next week. Click the subscribe button below if you have yet to, and if you want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I hope you guys liked the information in this video and you found it helpful. Remember to rate it up if you did and leave your thoughts below in the comment section. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.